Hey guys, David Dodge, the discount property investor. And today I'm going to talk about why I invest in real estate just like Robert Kiyosaki. So before we get started, subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying that I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person every month who subscribes and they comment saying that they subscribe. So why? Do I invest in real estate just like Robert Kiyosaki? Well, there's several reasons that I invest in real estate. One of the major reasons is that real estate is an asset. When you invest in real estate and you do it a certain way, it becomes an asset. So what exactly is an asset? Well, the simplest definition of an asset is something that puts money in your pocket. Okay, a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. So some examples of liabilities would be a car, okay? Every month it costs you money to own the car, okay? You're gonna either have a payment or you're not. You're gonna have an insurance bill. You're gonna have maintenance. You're gonna have gas, electric bill if it's electric vehicle. Either way, it's a liability because it takes money out of your pocket. Well, with real estate, when I buy real estate, those pieces of real estate become assets because they put money in my pocket every single month in the form of rent. So when I buy real estate, I buy for three major reasons. One, I buy as rental properties. I love rental properties and rental properties bring in income via rent. Okay, so I buy them and I lease them out to tenants and those individuals pay me rent. I have a loan on most of the properties that I own, but the amount of the rent is usually at least $300 a month more than the amount that I might owe the bank or all the expenses combined. So therefore, when I buy a piece of real estate that becomes a rental property, it is an asset. More money comes in than goes out. So at the end of every month, I get to deposit some money into my pocket. Therefore, it's an asset. That is the number one reason why I like real estate because it pays me monthly to own these pieces of real estate. The other two main things that I do in real estate is wholesaling and fix and flip. Now, I personally love wholesaling. I love it. And the reason is, is because it doesn't require a ton of capital to wholesale real estate. You can do it with little to no money. And what is wholesaling? Well, it's basically just doing marketing to find a motivated seller. You use a contract to lock up that property. And then you take that contract and you sell it to another investor. Very, very cool strategy. I personally have wholesaled over 300 properties to date, and my company's probably done over 400 at this point. So wholesaling is one of my favorite things when it comes to real estate investing, and it allows you to get into real estate or do some real estate investing with little to no money. You essentially just find that motivated seller, you use some a contract or some paperwork to get control of it, and then you sell that piece of paper or that contract to another investor and you can make a spread. And sometimes we have spreads of 15, 20, $25,000 on these particular wholesale deals. So they're really, really awesome. The last thing that I do with real estate or of the top three, I should say, is fix and flip. And fix and flip is great because again, I'm buying a property at a discount, but then I'm going to fix that property up. I'm gonna rehab it or renovate it and I'm gonna add value. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that piece of real estate to the marketplace and I'm gonna list it for sale and I'm gonna make a hefty profit. Typically we shoot for profits on fix and flips of 25 to 30,000 on the low end and there really is no cap. We've done some fix and flips that have generated anywhere from 60 to 100,000 in profit on these particular flips. But again, there's lots and lots of different strategies here. So the number one reason though, why I invest in real estate is because real estate is an asset if you do it correctly. And what I mean by that is if you turn it into a rental property, that produces rental income. The idea here is to have more rental income than you have in expenses on owning that property. The difference between those two numbers is what we like to call cash flow. 
Cash flow is basically is what's left. You know, what is left over after you pay all of your bills. And the bills on, on a piece of property are typically going to be your mortgage payment, taxes and insurance, which may or may not be included in your mortgage payment. You also have maybe some utilities, maybe not, some maintenance. And then, of course, you have vacancies, which really isn't an expense. It's more of an opportunity cost. So if you guys are interested in learning more about wholesaling real estate, I actually have a free course all about wholesaling. And you can find that course in the link below, or you can go direct via freewholesalecourse.com. Very, very simple. I would suggest you start with wholesaling if you're new to real estate investing versus trying to buy a rental or trying to find that great fix and flip property. Reason being is wholesaling is really a marketing business. You learn how to market to motivated sellers, find these individuals that need to sell their house, and all you do is you exchange with them a service. You are providing them with convenience and they are providing you with a discount. So it's a win-win scenario here. To me, I love wholesaling. My company does at least eight or 10 wholesales every single month. However, wholesaling to me is really just a means to an end. It's a way to find a great deal on a piece of property. What we do is we keep the best deals that come in via our marketing and those become rental properties or those will be added into the fix and flip division of our company. However, the good ones, the very, very best ones we keep, and then the ones that aren't so great, we wholesale out. So we do all three. But to me, wholesaling is really a means to an end to find that fix and flip, or even more importantly, or my favorite, find that great rental property that we can then add to our portfolio, and then it will become an asset. As of today, right now, the day I'm recording this video, me and my partners have 53 rental properties online. 53. Every single one of those properties is an asset to me. Okay. We shoot for 250 to 300 at a minimum, somewhere between that range of cash flow per property per month. So if you start doing some math here, you can see that there's quite a bit of revenue coming in after all of the bills. So the cash flow, 250 to 300 per month. I absolutely love investing in real estate. And I invest in real estate just like Robert Kiyosaki because I know now that real estate can be an asset versus a liability. And if you are going to invest, you want to know what you're investing in and you want to make sure that what you're investing in is in fact an asset. Again, guys, subscribe down below, comment. I'm going to shout out a lucky person. And last but not least, if you're new to real estate investing and you want to learn more about wholesaling, check out the free course link below. Thanks guys.